You watch the movies? The first movie, he saved Bucky, then crashed the plane after Bucky died. The second movie, he stopped fighting a trained assassin because it was Bucky and completely changed everything because it was Bucky. The third movie, he fought the entire government because it was Bucky. Literally every single movie was about Bucky Bucky. It's absolutely amazing to me how two people can watch the exact same movie and see two different points of view. Normally, I would say that's a good thing, but in this case, no, I would say it's like absolutely ridiculous. Let me explain something to you, sweetheart. Number one, to insinuate the fact that Cap crashed the plane because of Bucky dying, that's utterly ridiculous and quite frankly, really disrespectful to who Cap the character of Steve Rogers. He didn't crash the plane because Bucky died. He crashed the plane because it was the right thing to do. A hero, stay with me, a hero makes the sacrificial play. That's what makes them a hero. They're willing to die to save the world or to save their city. Come on, there are men laying down their lives. I got no right to do any less than that. That's what you don't understand. Steve's purpose is Bucky. Steve's purpose has always been Bucky. No, mm -mm. See, we're not about to do that either. I'll tell you something. Steve's purpose has always been to serve. Am I the only one that watched these movies? If you would get out of your own LGBT mindset and actually focus on stories rather than trying to see the gay and everything, you would have realized that a big part of Civil War did not have to do with Bucky. It actually had to do with Peggy. This funeral scene contextualizes Steve Rogers' arc throughout the entire Captain America movie, and it's because of what Sharon Carter's last words were uh, about Peggy. No compromise where you can. Where you can't, you don't. Even if everyone is telling you that something wrong is something right, even if the whole world is telling you to move, it is your duty to plant yourself like a tree, look them in the eye and say no. You move. He wasn't fighting the government so hard for Bucky. He wasn't fighting his friends so hard for Bucky. He was fighting so hard for what he believes in. And he didn't believe that this whole Superhero Registration Act was right. He didn't believe none of this was right. He didn't want to sign the accords before Bucky even showed up. Bucky is his best friend. And obviously he loves the guy. But, and that's why he tried to help him throughout the course of several movies. But to say that his purpose has always been Bucky, or that every single movie, the arc is because of Bucky, that's, that's like so, so stupid. You do realize that people are just friends, right? Everything doesn't have to be gay. He's, in, he's married to Peggy. He loves Peggy. You do realize that, right? That happened. You did see that, right? And there's going to be so many people, oh, he's homophobia. No, I'm not homophobia at all. I just don't find the gay in everything.